<laughs> Ayo yang lain bagaimana yang lain The male or the oldest The eldest one The oldest A type for older one moves to the back of the animal. It's like a contrast. Her, this is organ of mother's resuscitation. Plus the egg, which generally when the egg is ready to hatch, the second reason. Are you sure? Yes, see. Memang iya ya. Memang iya. <laughs> Tapi yang di sini dibilang the farthest segment of the tail. The farthest. The farthest. Can we see like older ones move to the back of the animal? To the back. So it means the oldest segment. All right, good. Number three, manis, manifest manifestation of a tapeworm symptom is apa itu bentuk yang manifestasi dari a tapeworm symptom yang bisa kita lihat. Dia ada di The last sentence. Yes. Jadi, eating this, yes. Eating disorder atau di sini bisa dibilang unusual eating habits. Jadi, yang punya unusual unusual eating habits, hati-hati nih sama tapeworm parasite ini. <laughs> tapeworm. Jangan-jangan ini sebenarnya. Jangan-jangan saya bilangin diri saya sendiri. <laughs> disorder. Okay, number four. Someone is possibly infected by tapeworm because of kita ada bisa lihat the last second. Yes, one may be infected by tapeworms by eating undercooked beef, pork, or fish. Jadi di sini kita bisa bilang consuming undercooked meat. Yes, gampang kan ya? Sejauh ini. <laughs> Alright, sorry lah begini teksnya dulu. Enggak ya? <laughs> Alright, the next one, the next short text. Kita lihat dulu jawab apanya, pertanyaannya. Ini kita bakalan menjawab apa tuh? melihat teks, jawab teks, jawab teks, jawab gitu ya untuk modul tiga ini. The flamingo can eat shellfish uh, and or and other animals because of its because of its what? Long neck. And what? Curving neck. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Bagaimana yang yang lainnya? Mm -hmm. Form Form apa tadi? Mm -hmm. 
Ya, jadi kan dia sebenarnya memang bisa makan yang seperti itu kan. Karena ya long neck, long legs, yes. Curving neck, yes. Long neck itu kan hampir sama juga curving neck, long neck. Because of it, especially from bill, paruhnya yang memang uh, bisa untuk uh, digest, digest yang seperti itu, makanan yang seperti itu. Jadi, the answer is B, the form, form to bill. Bill itu paruh, paruh dari si flamingo. Alright, number two. Many young flamingos cannot be expected to rise at one time because... Because, because hunters, the plum seeker, a. The plum seeker hunt and kill them. Many young flamingos cannot be expected to rise at one time because where can we find that? The last sentence: Young flamingos are. How do we call it? Is it? time and then often live together oh the the birds once lived in the southern united states but plum countries killed them faster than they could breed and the plum no longer live in them yes it's true but then in this question many young flamingos cannot be expected to rise at one time because they hold their single eggs Coba lihat yang the last, uh, the, the sentence. The bird's nest on the mound of mud with a hollow on top to hold its single egg. Jadi kalau misalnya they hold their single egg, they cannot like rise at one time. Alright, number three. The flamingos no longer live in, the, in where they once live in the southern United States because this one should be C. Yes, hunters kill them for their plum. This is the right answer. Okay, number four. The best title for this selection is Flamingos. Itu sangat ini ya. Very obvious. Very obvious about this one. All right. Itu sampai nampak jari saya untuk foto. All right. Number one, the attitude the attitude of teenagers in the nineties is which one? Mari kita langsung lihat. Young people today are very different from their predecessors in the night sixties, dominated by activists, long hair, and protesting. American intervention in Vietnam. No longer interested in politics and causes. Jadi ini yang mana ini sebenarnya? Pay full attention to government? No, right? And then like hairstyles? The attitude of the teenagers? Yes, why no? Di sini kan dia dibilang the 1960s were dominated by activists, long-haired. Jadi mereka menyukai hairstyles dengan long hairnya mereka. Iya, tapi kan <laughs> bukan. Tapi kan memang uh, dulu kan di zaman seperti itu kan mereka menyukai style yang seperti ini. Di mana-mana seperti itu. Kayaknya Bapak ibu kita juga kayak gitu enggak sih? Dulu zaman gondrong-gondrong. <coughs> zaman gondrong. Itu kayaknya kece gitu. Iya, celana apa ya namanya? 
ya itulah itu <laughs> alright and then number two most young people today are which one most liked hairstyles yes atau all of the above are they struggle to they struggle to enrich themselves can you find that uh, it is mentioned in this paragraph that they struggle to enrich themselves is it because they they are protesting it means does it mean protesting means like paid full attention to government but they protesting american intervention in vietnam mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes mereka cuma protesting about american intervention in vietnam no longer interested in, in policies and causes most of the 32 million people from 13 to 21 So, number one. So, so number one goes to A. Number two is and number one number one is yes but where do we find that where do we find that like they care about government here But they are protesting about American intervention in Vietnam. But do you know what American intervention in six, 1960s? <laughs> we, don't, we don't know. But the the most the obvious thing here, the answer for number one is they like hairstyles. Because it is mentioned here, like long hair. Yeah, still. Yeah, that that's true. I mean, because it is it is mentioned here, like hairstyle. So which kind of hairstyles on that day, on that on that time? But then here, it is not mentioned that they full attention to government. Not even because. Uh, they protesting American intervention in Vietnam. So, just in one country, in Vietnam, not in every country. So, which is, we concerned about the teenager on six on nineteen sixties. So. Let's. So the answer for this one should be B. Like hairstyles. Or if we can find another one, and then let's leave this kind of let's leave this uh, number one first, and then let's figure it out later on. All right. Okay. Let's move on to number number two. Most young people today are.
most of 33 million people from 13 to 20 are preoccupied with issues closer to them. Yes. So preoccupied with earning a living. All right. Number three. People worry about nuclear destruction. People worry about nuclear destruction. Yang mana ini jawabannya? They worry as to their parents about the dangers of nuclear destruction, but they seldom do anything about their worries. Ini serius, ini kalimatnya rancu sekali sebenarnya. People worry about nuclear destruction. Seharusnya ada kata penghubung di tengah-tengahnya ini. Karena ini, iya. Yeah. Ini people worry about nuclear risk. Yeah, jawabannya the answer is D, like seldom do anything, but should be has connect connection like, connecting. Yeah. And then yeah, the answer is D. Let's move on to the number four. The selection say the selection says where's the selection? Let's see. The selections. The selection. See, the youth of today have different attitude toward life from that of the youth of the 60s. Jadi mereka sangat-sangat berbeda ya. Enggak juga, enggak ada juga dibahas tentang better or worse. Terus present day teenagers tend to study hard. No. And then young people enggak cuma rebelliousnya doang. Cuma, and then... Di tahun 1960 juga enggak tentang rebelliousnya doang yang diceritain. So, the most correct one is the youth of today. C. Alright. So, so far, do you understand what are we talking about? Like, doing this kind. So, that's how we want to look for detailed information. And then, kita... Baca dulu soalnya ternyata lebih mudah ya untuk memahami. Kita baca dulu soalnya, lalu kita langsung melihat one vocabularies, uh, what vocabularies that lead us to the information that we want to get from short text. And then, mungkin beberapa, selain vocabulary, apa lagi yang perlu kita perhatikan? What do we concern about when it comes to Uh, scanning or detail information. The meaning of the or the meaning of the pocket. Right. Uh, all right. Atau kita juga bisa melihat uh, the keyword or the first one. We have to understand the question, right? And then and then we can go through. Uh, right away to the sentences in the paragraph. So, so far so good. So far so good? Yes, good. So, let's move on and then to another one. After this one, we're gonna go to uh, to the second section of our module today. So, this one, it's about survival strategy. Number one, A person might find timber rattlesnakes in the spring in rattlesnake. Di mana itu biasanya? Rattlesnake. Ada yang sudah dapat jawabannya? Forest. Bisa dilihat di 
di mana? Ya, yes, itu di mana kita bisa lihatnya? In open meadows. Mm-hmm. In the open. Bagaimana yang lain? Setujukah? Ya, yeah, in the spring and then in the open meadows. Meaning like di padang rumput gitu, yang terbuka. Hmm. Yes, so the answer is A. Okay, number two. The contribution to the gestating females being an endangered animal is because of... The contribution to the gestating females being an endangered animal is because... Kenapa uh, yang betina yang sedang apa itu namanya sedang hamil? Can we say hamil to snakes? <laughs> Being an endangered animal is because of <laughs> yes stating. Uh, females are particularly vulnerable because they spend much of their time lying in the sun in order to produce leaf young from so the eggs. <laughs> All right. So the answer for number two is D, lying in the sun. And then number three, female turtles are more than male because they Sit on their eggs long under under the sun. Jadi mereka itu under the sun. Like what you say, they love to get a tan for their skin. All right, all right. And then number four, the last one to survive at their wintering site, rattlesnakes would. Apa yang mereka lakukan in winter? What do they do in winter? <coughs> See? They are concentrate in large number. Why do you say oh here this behavior combined? With fact that tend to consider in large number at their wintering sites makes them easy prey. So the answer is C. They concentrate, but in your model, the answer is B. They are sleep. They sleep during winter season. Does it mean like they concentrate in large number at their wintering sites? Does it mean that they sleep? This behavior combined with the fact that female does not tend to concentrate large number tend to consider in large number at day winter inside makes them easy prey so they concentrate 
in the in the large number all right ini sepertinya harus dipertanyakan sama pihak UT ini sudah biasa ya <laughs> beruang nggak itu dulu ya beruang kutub itu winter terus kayaknya <laughs> di kutub alright now okay let's check out this one before we go to the next section the second section of our our book still like short text and then uh, the science has done a disservice is it disservice to mankind because because Uh, the science has done as this disservice, disservice to mankind because oh, nggak dapat ya? Teks dua, teks dua, ya tiga titik empat belas. Sudah ada yang dapat jawabannya belum? <laughs> Alright, the science has done a disservice to mankind because disservice. So the answer for this one, the science has done a disservice to mankind because some, yes, because some potentially harmful substances have been added to our food, which is make our food becomes, you know, unfit to eat or unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Kalimat terakhir yang yet this carni carcinogenic additives remain in our food and it depends for the but all the time to know things on the packaging of it. Yes, and then also we can see. Sebenarnya yang pertama juga udah ini ya. The food we eat seems to have profound effects on our health, although science has made enormous steps in making food more fit to eat. Meskipun science has made enormous step, a big step in making food more fit to eat, it has at the same time made many foods unfit to eat. Yes, jadi sebenarnya science itu kadang kita pikirnya, oh mereka menambahkan ini supaya kita supaya makanan kita itu lebih baik untuk tubuh kan? Ternyata at the same time they add more or they add substances that harmful to ourselves to our health. So yeah. Ya, kadang mereka mengambil racun tapi memasukkan racun lain di sini istilahnya kan seperti itu. Alright, let's see. Number two, nitrates are used. Blah blah blah, nitrates to preserve the color of yes, to preserve the color of meat, which is we can see. In 1945, blah, 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 that nitrates and nitrites commonly used to preserve color in meat and other food additives. Yes. Number two is mm, A. All right. Number three, the word carcinogenic means not.